Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with the Hangar Tribe. On this week's episode, we once again leave another free camp for a free camp. We are heading to Bard Creek and we have heard a few things about the track and that it was going to be tight, but my goodness was it tight. But we did manage to get up on the beach and... This place is absolutely stunning. I, Steph, actually caught four fish and outfished Jake for once. And uh, yeah, it was just amazing. This free camp spot is up there on one of the favorites for us. And I honestly can't wait to get back here. As always, guys, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and like to our channel. It's free to do so. And it really does help us in many ways. Good morning. <laughs> just checking straps, mate. All right, look, we're hitched up. Hitched up again. We're ready to go. Oh, that lighting is terrible. All right, we're hitched up, ready to go. On to our next spot. We were over the red dirt, like. We're out of the dust bowl. Yeah, <laughs> like you should see our van. I just swept it it's, out. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just red. Yeah, kids, yeah, just red. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way to describe It's disgusting, basically. Our feet are stained. The kids' clothes are stained. I'm gonna have to like really soak everything. Anyway, we have hit, uh, picked up some hitchhikers. We have the tra traveling millennials. Is that how you say it? Is that how you say it? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I'll put their little. They were um, supposed to do the give with us. Yeah, we were supposed to do the give with them, but things happened. So, but I'll put their little Instagram handle down here so you can go and check them out. Um, and we're off to another spot. Along, along this peninsula but we are not going to tell you or show you yet until we get there because i think it's going to be a mint spot what do you reckon i reckon it's going to be pretty good all right ready to go had a few hot tips from some people we ran into so it should be sick yeah we're good pulled into Bard Creek but we haven't got there yet we're just trying to figure out how to get there we just stopped and had a chat to a few other people and um, they've just said to follow this road straight um, so Jake's just getting the drone up to have a look to see what the roads like apparently it's a bit of a flex to get in there and it's super soft so let's see if we make it if not we've just pulled over kind of at a like Kind of at a big area so we can both turn around if we need to because we really don't want to get stuck or yeah so we'll keep you updated hopefully we get on the beach it would be so nice to go down on the beach but let's see well we're trying to get into camp it's, it's proving difficult but we've gone for the bonus track for millennials full off-road mate it's all right supposed to be this way mate, flexing it up. Oh, he's done this easy. I could probably do that, but I'm gonna take the chicken track. And <laughs> it's probably a bit tighter, but. Um, I just went in the van. Gotta show you what happened, but beep! Put olives everywhere. Yeah, running it's all out of the wild driving. This track is probably worse than the Gibb River. We had no spillages on the Gibb. Oh, come on. It is. You must have just put it in wrong. Watch this stump too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drive over that. All right. We'll get on. Gotta get through this section. <laughs> All right. Oh shit, I nearly just fell. Go. Am I good or not? Yeah, you. Um, yep. Yeah, um. Yeah, you're good. Good. 
Good. Good. Good. Yeah. All right, that obstacle done. Next one. You're gonna hit this stump on the side of the wall. Oh god. I'm not made to do this. <laughs> Right, we made it to the salt flats apparently so you go through all this like really really close dense bush and then you come out to this which <laughs> it's like where do you go from here like do you go left do you go right i don't really know but <sighs> that was horrible that was actually horrible jake's just gonna get the drone up because we've just gotten to that salt flat like we showed you Kayla and Andrew have gone up this track here, but there seems to be another track that goes that way. And I think someone said to go that way, didn't they? Yeah, apparently 200, 300 meters up this way, there's another turn up. So I don't know if that's gonna cut out a lot of the, because he's going up a pretty tight, scratchy track. So Jake's just try to avoid that if possible. So yeah, Jake's just gonna put the drone up. It's a good thing about having a drone that can kind of be your eyes, birds and, what do they call it? Eyes, eyes in the in sky. sky. <laughs> Kids are still just chilling. Everyone okay? Yeah. So let's see what we can see. All right, we got ourselves in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> uh, Travel Millennials went the high track and um, it's a bit scratchy and this and that, but we decided to go the low track, but it went nowhere. Well, it just gets really tight and it looks like no one's been down here or they've come this far and then turned around. So, now we go, well, lucky this is here or else I'll be backing all the way out. So, I've got to put my genius plans together, turn this big dog around, and then go all the way back out, all the way along that top track, and then it drops down to the beach near the river mouth. So, stay with us. <laughs> Holy, I'm glad that turnaround spot was there. Wouldn't that have been fun if we didn't friggin' whip? The road's probably like, I don't know, 300 metres long, yeah. like this. So it's a bank up one side and then like mangroves. Yeah. That would have been a mission. We would have had to back it all the way out if we didn't have that pad. Basically, so we would have had to. Anyway, back to the start. <laughs> So. <laughs> All right, we turn off the track that we were meant to go up, that Kayla and Andrew went up. It's pretty tight, but it's not. It's not too bad. It's, it's definitely well used. It's softer. It's I'll yeah. Maybe the first one out this track. Yeah, after the wet season. Yeah. yeah, it would be hectic. I think this might be the. Is this the whoopy bit? No. No. Whoa! Whoa! And now for the technical section of the track. These are the whoop de whoops. You probably can't even see them, but they're probably like half a meter each side going whoop, 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 whoop. So we'll see how we go on this one. Should be interesting. All right, I guess I'll take you along for the ride. Apparently Andrew's coming up to give us a hand. I don't know what he's gonna be able to do. See how we go, eh? Are you ready, kids? We're gonna go whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop de whoop. Chucker in first gear. Easy does it. Definitely taking me for a ride. Flexi flexi. We'll see how we go coming back up here when we freaking get out. Now that's wombat holes. Yo! 
your wheels were spinning yeah. and the car wasn't even moving because you had three wheels on the ground. Yeah, boy. <laughs> We made it. It's definitely worth it, don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty mean. <sighs> it's just, Ooh. I don't know. It's beautiful. Yeah, the water looks sick here. So blue. Kids are on their bikes already. If you want to come to Bard Creek, like this looks way worse because, because it's all red still from James Price. But yeah, she was tight. You would have seen on the way in, but Check me mirrors out, mate. Can't even see any silver. I painted them before we left. They were silver. And they just copped an absolute hiding. They got pushed in about three times. But we just whipped them in after a while. Oh, this one looks alright too. Oh, yeah, a little bit there. Mate, sand them back when we get home. Lick of paint. Oh, we got new stickers too. Check it. I reckon it goes well. I think they're called peel, peeler stickers, I think. Hopefully Steph can do something about that down here. But once you're down here, it's actually pretty good. I'm just doing a lap of the van just to make sure everything's still on it. Um, yeah, but far out, man. Like, this is probably a taste of the Ningaloo, I reckon. Definitely got some more love stripes on the caravan. So these older vans for new age, they paint them in like a textured paint which is actually awesome because all the new caravans obviously they got checker plate up high but the new ones the flat composite panels just get pin striped to the shit. so i don't know i like our old girl <laughs> yeah no it does, it does a good job it gets us where we want to be so that's all that matters like the bloody checker plate pin stripe more than the bloody textured paint I reckon textured paint for the win. Yeah. I reckon that's sick. Yeah. It'd be like, I guess it's like Raptor coat, really. It would be nice to have flat, flat sidewalls, though. We're on a budget here. Yeah, budgeting. We're budgeting. Budgeting big. Can we play that Gabby Cats? Gabby Cats. What do we got? Double Wonder Woman happening here. Anyway, we're going to set up here. We're going to put the mat down, settle in. How many nights we got? Three nights. Steph will put up something here. This is where we get to. Track yeah. is crazy. I think there is other entrances, but that's the main one. Don't go the way we went. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We're going up them bloody wombat holes on the way out. Stay tuned. This place is going to be sick. One before Jake did. <laughs> Hell, I gave it a No. Excuses. Is it going to be a bigger one? Ah. What's the? Stretch him out. <laughs> what do you reckon? That's on. You reckon? Spot on. You. Another brand.
Broome. The whole day was blown out, so we decided to go into Broome. It has absolutely glassed off here this afternoon. Absolutely Fish stop. were on. I think Steph won the tally. What did I get? Four brim or something like that. Four brim and a whiting. All legal. So, we're having fish. We're having fish for dinner. And check out the... Super chef over here. But look at this. Come on, boy, you can do Last night here. But it looks amazing. We're going to have a campfire as well because the wind's down. Last night it was blowing its ass off, so you basically couldn't come outside. Kids are entertained. Beautiful wife's making fish. I'm going to start the fire. Yeah. 